Good day you all and welcome to the South African Lawn. Lekker mensen, welcome to another video. This lawn is looking lekker. And the other lawns is also looking lacquer. And you might ask, why is that? Why is your lawns looking so lacquer? Because of the rain, obviously. We had good rain yesterday. We had good rain the day before yesterday. And sometime a few days before that, we had some rain. I'll try and put a picture up somewhere on the screen so you can see what the readings were. Um, but lacquer rain we've had. And that's the reason why this lawn is looking lacquer. But it's not always looking this lacquer, let me tell you, sometimes it's rather dry. Sometimes it's rather like, oh, water me, water me. Um, and then you would start to think of products like wetting agents. And today I want to focus on stuff like wetting agents, you know, especially soil amendments for your lawn and also how to apply it. And that brings us to my DIY built Venturi Siphon. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so while I'm saying it's looking so lacquer, I must confess, I must admit that I'm seeing an increasing amount of this yellow oxalis, as well as, unfortunately, some nut grass. So it's not all Monskein in Ruesa. Yeah. Yeah, so Venturi Siphon, this is, this is mine. DIY project, didn't draw it up before I did it, that's why it's looking a bit rough. But you might be asking, Eric, what is a Venturi Siphon? And let me tell you, Whatever is in this bottle is being sucked up by this straw while I'm doing this Venturi Siphon application thing and then all the way through this pipe into this nozzle, whatever, and it shoots out this way with a large amount of water which is coming from this way with a, with a hose pipe. That's how it works. So, so let's rewind a few weeks um, before I built that almost a year and a half back. I walked in a china shop and I came across this thing, which is a full crystal, cleans windows right through screens, excellent for cars, boats, patio furniture, siding reaches, reaches up to 20. But the one thing they forgot to say is excellent for lawns, because it is great for applying product on a lawn. And this was my initial Venturi siphon. And uh, let me just open this thing up and show you what I saw inside. Ow. I hope my dentist is not watching. A little bit of plumber's day because it kept leaking. Okay, so if you look at it closely, you would find a, a valve here on top which closes and opens the water supply. And if you look further in, I don't think you're going to see it. No, you won't see it in this camera. But there's some stuff happening in there. And once I discovered what's happening in there, it pushed me to building my own. And hopefully this video pushes you to build your own siphon. Okay, so please excuse me talking scientific for the next minute or two here uh, because I failed science very badly. Was that a B again? Whatever. Uh, I failed science horribly, like terribly. I, whatever. Let me tell you what the science behind because as soon as I figured it out, it pushed me to make my own. And why did I want to make my own? Because this one here simply couldn't give me the volume of water to do a 200 square meter application within like it literally takes two lifetimes and a day to do an application okay so this one allows for quite a bit more water to flow through in a shorter amount of time okay so here is where the magic happens this part just sucks the liquid from wherever it finds it so as you can see there there's an arrow which shows you the direction of flow which is less important in this instance. But what we've got here essentially is a tube that's got a certain diameter. And after this point right here, we've got a wider part of a tube. Let me try and remove this to show you what's going on inside here. Okay, so if you look into my front part of where the water exits, there you can see after the valve, there's quite a wide opening. Let me get behind the camera here. So you can see right there. So as you can see right there, there's a widening of the actual diameter. So the part where the water flows through is quite a bit smaller than 
this part after the water has exited past this valve part right here. So what that does is it creates a point of low pressure there. This is where it gets really scientific, which allows to create a little bit of a vacuum. So it creates a vacuum, but what you now can do is you can suck up this pipe, the fluid, the air, the whatever, up this pipe into this chamber and shoot it out with water. Now the reason why I've put this like type of nozzle on yeah it can be shorter than this it doesn't have to be a half a meter long as mine is is so that the water actually hits this part and creates that vacuum right there so that's why the setup is like that but once you understand that when water flows from a narrow diameter to a bigger diameter let's say at the same speed as it expands into the bigger diameter at that spot it creates a vacuum a low pressure point and that creates the suck and that allows you to if you take whatever's in here and flush it out with a bunch of water. How good was that? Okay, so in my 5 litre can here, I've got uh, some RO Vital mixed in. And I want to show you that this works because it should create a bit of foaming if we add excessive amounts in one area. Um, the one downside to this is, let me show you, that you can't really apply pressure to the front end of this system of mine because that'll allow pressure to like build up in the negative way that we don't want it, create a positive pressure and push the liquid or the water back through this pipe. So if there's clever people on this group, which shouldn't be difficult, um, who knows a solution around this, contact me and we'll maybe like work on my great system here. So now all there's left to do is to put this pipe whoop, in the fluids and then close my lid. Connect this part up to my 20 millimeter hose pipe, which allows for even more water, and then spray wherever I want to spray. So, here yeah, goes. Whoa, whoa, that's dramatic. Ooh, look, look at that. Oh, already I see the soapiness. Have a look there, people. You still don't believe that my product is coming from there? Okay, so the one thing that I absolutely love about mine compared to that, that's probably a better setup and it's already there and it costs next to nothing. I literally found that at a china shop for like 90 bucks. Whereas this I built for probably, I don't know, like 150 rand, I can't even remember, but it was like really inexpensive. Is that the diameter of this valve is so much bigger. And if you don't believe me, that diameter of the valve or the actual opening makes a big difference. I just want to compare that to my hose pipe. So I've got a 20 mil hose pipe here, which delivers 44 liters per minute water with the exact same pump I get from a 12 mil hose, 17 and a half liters per minute. So that makes a very big difference, that increase in diameter. So I really love this thing because it just comes into its own when you're adding soil amendment products or like even fertilizers really that you're scared it's going to burn your lawn. So with this quantity of water with a fertilizer, you really have a very slim chance of burning your lawn. If you're applying a liquid fertilizer with a high, nitro high nitrogen, like this is probably the safest way that you can do it with a large amount of water. And um, I really like it because I can localize areas where I know is trouble areas, with, especially with soil amendments, where I can treat those areas only. So I don't have to spray the entire lawn and then water it in. I can treat the areas that get dry first. Like I know this area of my lawn needs a lot more water and a lot more attention than the other parts of my lawn. So it really like is a benefit to me to be able to add something with water and the soil amendment at the very same time. So I'm also here sitting and thinking, well, my lawn really doesn't need this application that much at this point in time because it looks great. And uh, also, the rain saves me. It's raining almost every second day. But however, there will come a point in time, before the summer, during the summer, after the summer, where it will not rain that much, and then my lawn will need it. And this will come in really handy. 
Okay, so let's just quickly talk about the contents that you will need to do something like this. Um, so you can figure out your setup by yourself, but basically my key component of this thing is this 15 millimeter irrigation valve because that already allows the, nar the narrowing and the widening all in one. And then I've got this 15 mil irrigation pipe on the front, and then I've got a galvanized piece of threaded on the inside thing, whatever, and then I've got this 19 millimeter hose fitting here on this side. So this is all I have. And then obviously five liters of these, I've got plenty of them lying around. And then this, what I've used here, is the 3.2 millimeter multi Wara wara, universal hose. So that's pretty sure they use it in the cars, the vacuum pipes in the cars. And also there's one other component right here. Let me go and show you what it is. So this part is the actual only engineering part that I've done. So I've drilled a hole just behind obviously my valve right there. And I fitted one of these Okies right there. This is the, what is this? the range it barbed adapter um, in there so so that i can connect my hose to whatever's there so you just have to make sure that you drill it in the right spot if you don't like that then go and buy a venturi siphon on that note let me just put a few pictures up of the ones that i've saw in stores um, you can buy them i think at places like builders warehouse uh, chamberlains those type of places quite expensive but it looks like a sturdy brass one Regarding the flow rate, I'm not 100% sure. So if you've got a big area, you might want to think of building your own one so that you can get that flow rate because it is very time consuming when you're working with very low flow rate. Flow rate. So I'll show you a couple of pictures of different ones that I saw, um, like this one. Let me put it up right now. Very nice from Builders Warehouse. It's 260 Rand as you can see. And then uh, it, also, um, it also will transform your garden from rubbish to good. And I've obviously drilled a hole in here to get the, the vacuum pipe in there. Yeah, I like Owen, so that's probably going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize, my science is very bad. So if you found that difficult to understand, please shoot me a direct message on Instagram. Or also, maybe leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll probably reply there. However, I don't get notifications of that for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, please be sure to like the video. Also, if you felt that these videos earned your subscription, please feel free to subscribe and I'll probably see you in the next video. Lacquer, this thing works great. <laughs>